Hello Unity fans and welcome to an appetizer video for some of the tutorials and development videos to look forward to. I've been working on getting a resource gathering system off the ground, starting off with a woodcutter. Everything these woodcutters do after being spawned on the map is automated. I still need to build in a few steps, for example it's a bit crazy to chop down a tree while carrying 5 logs on your back, so there needs to be more steps where an empty carry basket is placed on the ground and one filled with logs is picked up and taken back to a hut. And in between these actions, some sawing can also occur. So there's still a lot to do and there's always something small here and there that you can tweak and improve upon. But the system is currently at a point where it can run smoothly on its own until all the reachable trees have been chopped down. But don't worry, at the end of the video I'll fill the entire island with trees again. We're running a responsible enterprise here. By the way, the video is available in 4K if you're interested, and I've only mixed summer, autumn and winter versions of the trees here to show the possibilities. If you're interested in the history of how we got to this point, follow one of the links in the top right or in the description below for the previous episodes of this series. This is the first major contribution I've made to the original series by Catlike Coding, where I've had to adapt his original design to allow for more functionality. For example, where he stored only the level of plants, none, low, medium or high, for each X, and the repeatable random numbers created the same visual display whenever it was required to be redrawn, we now have to keep track of much more information about each of the seven possible positions on each X. This is because we now need to be able to interact with the objects spawned on the map. It determines our woodcutter's actions, his actions determine the object's status, and there's a whole host of factors that may not be overly obvious that are required to let the system run as a whole and look decent. We'll go through the design of these factors and features, our restrictions and difficulties, and ways to come up with solutions that may not be 100% realistic, foolproof or ideal, but does not break the deal. It needs to still let you happily accept and enjoy the system as a whole. And it needs to be able to perform a specific function in a bigger environment, which brings with it another set of constraints, dependencies and visual challenges. We'll consider some of the physics and mathematics behind the scenes, which is an interesting way of learning what maths can be used for. We will discuss the visual assets and why they are good candidates to be used in this case, and the different components of Unity that are required to bring it all together. We'll also look at some visualization techniques that can be used while developing and debugging, to try and find out if what we've envisioned is actually happening, and where to find the issue if it isn't. In time, we'll also add sounds to the scene. And when we're eventually done with the woodcutters, we'll see how this system can also be employed to gather other resources like stone, gold or berries, and even just for transporting goods around the map. I'll stop talking soon, but the woodcutters will continue going about their business until all the trees have been chopped down, after which I'll cover the entire map in trees for a finale. See if you can spot some of the places where tweaks are still required, and let me know in the comments what you've noticed, and whether you have any suggestions. Until next time, goodbye.